I'm not get that all propylized out and covered up anyway. <laughs> okay. I got a fondant patty between these two boxes here in a position you can only see one box. Let me see. I'm gonna try to get it where we can see. Right in there. Y'all bear with me. I'm gonna have to do this camera stuff by myself. <laughs> you are what you got. Work with what you got. Put the top back on. I'm gonna just tip this up. Look at this hide a live petty in here. See how they have worked that. Heat the middle out of it. And the cluster is to one side of the nest. Let's keep going. Y'all will check back and just see. So uh, I'll show you what I'm looking at here. <clears throat> Down in, I'll leave these swiffer sheets in. You can see there's hive beetles all in these. They propylize them in, cover them up. This is the OA on a max maximizer pad, and then this is the uh, this is the uh, Hive Alive fondant. Let me see how they're taking that. I've seen all I need to see. It's a beautiful day in Middle Tennessee. Uh, you can tell sap starting to rise in the trees when you're right down the road. Uh, a lot of activity in the bee yard. They heeing and she and coming and going. Uh, anyway, that's what mine are doing. 66 degrees. I think it's the 17th. 16th or 17th of January. I don't know what day it is and I don't care. <laughs> that's... This, this fun has been on exactly a week. So yeah, today's uh, Tuesday. Cause I remember looking at the calendar, I put this stuff on and they did that to it one week. So y'all yeah, be checking your hives. It'll be here before we know it. Hey guys, I was just inside or outside working uh, that colony right there. I stepped into the greenhouse. It's about a hundred degrees in here it feels like. I'm gonna show you some of this stuff. I cut some limbs off of a peach tree outside and pushed them down in here and some of them are starting. Now we did lose some stuff to the cold. It got so cold, it just, uh, that little heater right there, couldn't keep everything in here warm, but the onions are doing great. And uh, let's see here. Let me show you. The sage is doing exceptionally good. Parsley's hanging in. Look at this lettuce. Mmm. In about four or five more weeks, and I'll make a salad. 
Hey guys, this is Tim again. It's uh, January 17th. It was uh, 66 degrees for the high here in Middle Tennessee today. There's uh, nothing really in bloom. Um, the only thing I'm seeing them bring in pollen wise is the dry sub that I put out for them this time of year. Uh, they are really, really liking this hive a lot of fondant. I've I, I used to traditionally, I'd use the old mountain camp method, you know, where you squirt your sugar down and get it wet, make a cake. And, um, yeah, they take this a whole lot different than they take that mountain camp method. Um, they literally start licking it as soon as you put it in the hive, which when you see them react like it, yeah, yeah, you know they liking it. So, anyway... Just quick update. It's just some little touch base. What's going on? We uh, working towards having. It's looking like we're going to have between fourteen and fifteen colonies. Fifteen, fourteen to fifteen colonies survive the winter. It looks like um, we're gonna. I decided instead of trying to do nukes, I'm gonna offer what I call brood bombs. You know, a uh, a a double nuke brood bomb. A, 10 frame box full of bees, matey queen, ready to go set up somewhere and catch a honey crop. You don't sell as many of them as you will nukes, but, you know, my thing is helping the new beekeeper get started. Um, I'm a big proponent of mentorship. As beekeepers, we should be teaching the guy that, look, if you have ever successfully overwintered one winter, you have something to contribute to the new beekeeper, whatever it may be. You you had enough knowledge that you're able to get them through the winter so you know enough about it that you can be a help to somebody. And that's how we grow this community of beekeepers. My buddy Greg Burns up there at nature's image farm he says like the honeybee is to the hive we're better together and he's true i i say as being hive minded we all we all doing our own thing but we have a common goal and that common goal should be growing the industry of beekeeping i don't say the hobby because i have met people that make a living at this play with bugs yeah i know right like You get paid to play with bugs all day long, boss, <laughs> you know? So it's really cool that there's people that are able to do this. There's some of us that are so obsessed with honeybees, we have to work bees. We have to have our fingers stung every so often or we start going into, you know, having little withdrawals, you know? Um, but they bring me a sanity. I think this, 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 this hat, I got this from... I bought this from Craig Midget at the Hive Life Conference. And this is for Highs for Heroes. This also, I matched. Can you tell? I matched. <laughs> but uh, they uh, they pair up uh, mentors and mentees. I got an email today that I got a mentee. I got somebody that is going to volunteer their time. And I'm on, they're interested in bees. And I'm going to teach them how to raise bees and how to, you know, take care of them, how to treat them, teach best can what to know. And uh, that, that should be something that we all need to push more towards is the fellowship, the fellowship of the bee. You know, the uh, the camaraderie that you get. If, 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 if you were to have life, you know what I'm talking about. It, it's, it's a camaraderie. You could sit down with a rank stranger you've never met before. And in 10 minutes, you're going to get up with a lifelong friend. And uh, it, it's amazing. And it all revolves around these bugs in a box. I apologize for the road noise. I live in a beer can right next to the highway, and it picks up everything. Anyway. Uh, no, that's something that we all need to consider is mentorship. Being there to help that next generation. So... I hope you enjoyed the video. 
if it's still cold where you're at, sucks to be you. I'm working peas and short sleeve shirts in January. So, ha! Anyway, y'all have a good day. God bless you and all that you do. Buy local, be local, be original. Y'all have a blessed day.